In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. You are welcome once again to Father Talk Series. In fact, we're talking about the Trinity, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So first, we're taking from Proverbs chapter 8, from verse 22 to 31. And that's the gospel passage from John chapter 16, 12 to 15. The Bible did not prove to us a doctrine stating clearly in the Bible the Trinity, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now things began to unfold themselves in the history of salvation of mankind when God planned to save man. And that is how spiritualists, theologians begin to understand that there are three persons in one God. Of course, let's see from Proverbs. The word of God says, when the world was created, I was there. Wisdom was the one who said it. The wisdom of God cries aloud. The Lord created me when his purpose first unfolded. Before the oldest of his work, I was there. So taking from the book of Genesis chapter 1, when God created the world, he did say, I have created the waters and the heavens and everything on the earth. He said, let us make man in our own image. Who was there with God? Nobody knew who was there with him. But from the scriptural passages, we can allude and understand that these three persons came into being united, undivided, equal in majesty. That is God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We understand that from Wisdom chapter 1, we understand the wisdom of God is the Spirit of God. So that is the Holy Spirit. And from John chapter 16, the scripture says, this, I have many things to say to you, but they will be too much for you now. But when the spirit of truth comes, he will lead you to the complete truth. Where is the spirit of truth? He said he has been dead for the creation of the world. And he said, you'll be talking about me. So when Jesus Christ talked about the Spirit, in his own context, the Spirit knows everything. Who knows everything? Only God can know everything. Everything cannot be in the Bible. The Bible is a record of the account of the history of salvation. You, if you read the account of Acts of the Apostles, Luke tried to make Theophilus the Emperor to understand that he has been with these people from the beginning of the ministry of Jesus Christ. And his account is true. And it was one who wrote the Gospel of Luke and asked the apostles. And so when you read Luke's account vividly, as an intelligent man, he was able to bring that idea that God is a God of the universe. That Jesus Christ is for everyone. Not that Jesus is God himself. Taken from John's Gospel, chapter 1, from verse 1. The word was with God. The, the word is God. The word is God. So from the account of Genesis, you understand that God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit intrinsically mentioned there. What about the account Jesus Christ told the apostles in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28? Go and baptize, make disciples of all nations, and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Every time when we pray together, peace be with you, and say, and with your spirit, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, and we say, Amen. That indicates the blessed Trinity. So, Jesus Christ gave this clue to us, a statement in John's Gospel, chapter 3, verse 30, when he was talking about being the good shepherd. He said, when they argued with him, he said, I and the Father are one. Before Abraham, I was. And the Jewish people started stoning him. Why would we claim equality with God? But St. Paul, in his account of Philippians chapter 2, he did say, Jesus Christ is God, but did not claim equality with God. Rather, he became a servant, even like a slave. Died for us. Through his name, every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is God. So this is what we are talking about. Well, the Catholic Church, you all understand, but we'll do the sign of the cross, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We are already proclaiming and confessing that there are three persons in one God. God the Son, God the Father, and God the Holy Spirit. My dear people of God, today let us assure ourselves that we believe in one God, three persons in one God. 
And if you believe in Jesus Christ, we said, I am the Alpha and the Omega. And he's saying that the Holy Spirit of truth will come to you and will teach you everything, but he knows everything. God knoweth everything. Because the three persons of one God, they are magnificent, they are equal in majesty, and they know everything about you and about what they created the world. So today, call upon God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, and they will always come to your head. God is Alpha, the creator of heaven and earth. Jesus Christ is God, the Alpha and Omega. The Holy Spirit is God. Jesus Christ proclaimed in the gospel. If you sin against the Father, your sins can be forgiven. If you sin against the Son, your sins can be forgiven. But if you sin against the Holy Spirit, your sins will not be forgiven, neither in this world and the next world. Do you hear that? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See, that is why I don't call the Holy Spirit anyhow, because he is the finisher of everything, the master plan of everything, the creator, the Lord giver of life. When we profess the Nicene Creed, and I believe in God. If you are taking the longer form, it says, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord giver of life. I pray that God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, continue to bless you and God you through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all.